What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jude, that's Emily on the camera. Hey guys. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do an easy FPV setup. This is the Zeus Nano VTX. Um, it's extremely small and light. It weighs 2.4 grams. Um, and it also has a microphone so you can hear your RPMs. Here's the wiring diagram. All the way to the right, you have your battery plug with the ground and the power. Next to that, it goes ground, power, video. And that is for your video, your camera. Here's an example of a camera. This is the Cadex Ant. Uh, it's a very good camera. And here's the plug that I was telling you about. And as you can see, slides right in there pretty easily. This is the antenna. It's about what it'll look like. And it just has a clip that clips right there onto that point. Here we have the Zeus Nano VTX all installed and ready to go into an airplane. There's the antenna and it's just a little clip that clips onto the back there. You're going to make sure that you have that on there. Here's the plug and here's the battery. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Now you got some flashing lights. The red is the power and when it comes uh, brand new, the power is going to be on 25. You want to switch that to 350 so that you don't lose your signal ever. In order to switch the power, you're going to need to hold this little button right here. Um, I think for about six seconds. As you're holding it, it'll switch from green to blue and then to red. That's when you want to let go. And then you can proceed to click it as many times. I think it takes four times until the red is uh, light is solid. That's how you know it's on 350 milliwatts. The other two lights are the band and the channel. And when the default setting is channel one and band A. You can leave it on that and just match that band and channel with your goggles and you should get a picture. Go ahead and turn that on and you can see. Lift it up a little for me. Sure. And it's just looking at the canopy of the RV7. And you can see the signal's real clear, even though I'm right next to it. It'll stay pretty clear, uh, even at the end of your flying field. What does he look like from the front? Let's turn him around. And now he, the camera is right there, inside of his helmet, um, and I have it on top of a servo, so we can look left and right. Pretty cool. And here's the servo wire, and here's the battery. Well, that servo wire plugs into the inside of the plane, uh, right to the receiver, on its own channel, so I can look left and right. Here's a little tip. If you're just getting into flying FPV, when I first started, I used a screen instead of a, go a pair of goggles, and that way I could keep an eye on the plane if I was getting uncomfortable, but it really helps to get the hang of what it looks like from a camera. Uh, besides that, I will put a link in the description of a re recommended VTX and a recommended camera, um, and I think I think that's about it. Thanks, guys.